We start. Okay. Now uh, the remedy. <coughs> The remedy that uh, the remedy that I'm going to discuss today is a very uh, well-known remedy, a very simple remedy. And uh, post lunch session, we we'll just start with a small image, and uh, slowly we'll try to understand. Okay. See, as a material student, there are few animals which are compared to few constitutions. Okay. I will not ask you which constitution uh, this particular uh, uh, animal is compared to. But before we start looking at uh, this particular remedy to which it is compared, can you think of some animals, you know, I am not asking you the remedies prepared from the animal source. I am asking you there are certain animals to which a remedy is compared. Okay. For example, this remedy uh, is compared to pig. Swine, okay. If you read uh, good material books, they say it is compared to swine because it is not prepared for it, it has got nothing to do with pig, the source. I am asking you some examples like this, like for example, Dr. Uh, Netra and Dr. Uh, Ambrish, they are talking of a, a horse, okay. Horse has two things here one, it is compared to, compared to arsenic. The second very important remedy that horse is compared to is, is what is the advertisement we see in papers, you know, where is the horse used as a, yeah, I mean, power, horse power. See, horse as a creature and horse as a power, okay. There is something called as horse power, no? Fine. So, like, you know, for example, horse is compared to arsenic mark. Why is horse compared to arsenic amal? Why is it? Yeah, one thing is they are restless. And many of the horses, if you see, they are known for uh, being very neat, clean, fastidious. And they are very restless. Okay. And I was talking to you about horse power. Now, which is the remedy that comes to your mind? And the remedy which is, uh, you know, uh, compared to horse power is fluoric acid. Fluoric acid. There is one very important thing in fluoric acid. What is the PQRS of fluoric acid? Huh? No tiredness, beautiful. I mean, there, there could be a lot of things. There could be a lot of PQRS. But when you are comparing to a horse, see, there is a common uh, statement, no? Untiring horse. Okay? In fluoric acid, it is used for a different context. Okay? They are the people who never get tired. Done? Like for example, uh, they can work morning, night. They can do continuous two, three shifts. See, the fluoric acid not necessary. The energy is only sexual. It could be the general energy. Tolerance, endurance is more in fluoric acid. You know, my sir used to tell, uh, people who, who will not have jet lag, they come from US to India and you know, they are... Uh, uh, energetic, they don't feel sleepy, they don't yawn, and they get, they start working from day one. So people who don't feel jet lag, who don't feel tired, they are compared to the horse power, and that is fluoric acid. Okay. Per se, horse we have arsenic. It is compared to arsenic. Any other remedies? Sheep. I mean, uh, you have uh, pulsatilla. Pulsatilla mind is something which is similar to sheep. What, in what context people talk of uh, pulse as a remedy you know, compared to sheep? Okay, more of uh, emotional, fine. No uh, intellect, following, fine. They'll have nothing of their own. They just follow. They're more of followers. They just follow, fine. Very innocent, you know, pulse is very innocent, okay. Yeah, any other remedies that you can think of? Yeah, they stay in a group. Okay, pulsatilla. Compared to sheep. 
arsenic compared to horse. Any other remedy you can think of. Okay. Now, yeah, I mean, yeah, okay. Uh, there was a small sentence which came up, word which came up. Now, there is one remedy in our Materia Medica which is compared to swine. Now, two simple questions for you this afternoon. One is, which is the remedy which is compared to this and why the homeopath or why did the author feel so are two simple questions. First question is, the answer to the first question which is the remedy, remedy is antimonium crude oil. Good. All of you are right. Now why is antim crude compared to pig? Huh? Why is antim crude compared to pig? What comes to your mind when we talk of pig? See, horse, we spoke of uh, fastidious, horse for restlessness, horse for energy. Similarly, when you look at uh, pig or when you imagine pig, the first thought that comes to your mind, with due respect to the creature, okay, the first thought that comes to your mind is dirty. I mean, you know, pig generally stays in places which are dirty, okay, are the places where you have pigs that place is dirty, either way, either way, okay. So one thing that comes to mind is they are very dirty. So what they have seen in the provings or what they have seen in the patients who require antim crude that they are more of, more of dirty constitution, okay. You should, you, if you just uh, slowly recall where pigs live, they generally live in areas, you know, uh, which are uh, uh, drainage, Okay, yeah, I mean, places which are dirty. Good. Any other reason what made the author think of uh, antim crude? Okay, obese, good. Thick skin, beautiful. Ambrish has a point. Thick skin. Thick skin. Generally, the skin of antim crude, I'll be discussing a little later, they're generally very thick. Okay? And then uh, one more point, uh, you know, uh, I don't know, it should be netra or... Uh, was answering this point here is like uh, the dirty, the thick skin, and one more very important thing. You are talking of obesity. More than obesity, if you just see the pig, they keep eating always. Many times, you know, when somebody is eating too much, uh, I mean, uh, locally, I don't know, uh, worldwide, locally, we compare him to pig. He is eating like a pig. Fine. So these are all the comparisons which makes us to realize that the remedy antim crude is very similar to a pig. Okay? Overeating, dirty, thick skinned, you are talking of obese, there might be pigs which are emaciated also, okay, but no issues. Okay, these are few points. So what I was trying to tell you is, we will discuss a remedy and uh, the remedy is what we just uh, uh, disclose the remedy we are going to discuss today is antimonium crudo. Okay, and uh, from the basic chemistry that you know, antimonium crudo is a component of is a combination of uh, antimony and sulfur. Antimony and sulfur. Okay, probably the dirtiness in antim crude comes because of uh, sulfur. Okay. Then, sulfur also over it. Okay. So there are a few points which will clash. Because antim crude has sulfur. Hmm? Antimony and sulfur. That combination is antimonium crude. Okay. So, as we just realized, it's a source which belongs to the uh, mineral group and it is prepared by trituration. Caspari is the person who proves. This minor details may not be very important, but antim crude is what we are going to explore in detail. Okay. Now, any wild guess? Where do you see antim crude acting? You know, when I say antim crude, two areas should come to your mind. Skin and JAT. Beautiful, good. Skin and JAT. It's a deep acting remedy. It's a polycrest. You might see this particular remedy acting everywhere. Okay, I am asking you the predominant action of uh, antimonium crude oil, GA and skin. Okay, now GA, if you just look at GA, 
and uh, slowly in the next component you will also realize why this remedy has an affinity for GI. Hmm? Okay? So what will antimonium crudum do acting on GI? What will it do? What will it do? It mainly causes... I mean, you just told me that, you know, we saw this, that they overeat. Okay? So what basically happens to the GI is, the digestion in antim crude slows down. Hmm? So many symptoms that you see in antim crude, it's all because of slow and weak digestion. Hmm? So acting on the GI, it causes uh, indigestion, it causes slow digestion, it causes weak digestion, and the result is what you see. So what happens when there is uh, weak digestion, when there is slow digestion? Food is not getting digested properly. So what you see is, you see more of gastritis, you can see more of burping, belching, or you can see bloating of abdomen, fine. You can see constipation, you can see diarrhea. These are all the results that you are going to see in antimonium crudum. Okay. So first is GA and second very important area. This is one area where uh, antim crude is abused. Any wild guess which is that area where you see antim crude widely abused is cons. Cons, cons. Okay. Hmm? Even a layman over the counter many times antim crude is sold or is purchased for, for cons. And as a qualified homeopathy, you know, it's not the right method of uh, understanding antim crude. Okay, but antim crude, over a period of time, it's been famous for uh, cons. Okay. Now, instead of using the word cons, I would like to use one word, and that word is thickening. Ambrish was talking of uh, thick skin. Fine. So you see thickening in antim crude. The skin gets thickened. So now, this is where you see more of uh, psychotic growths. You see more of warts. You also see more of uh, cons. And one more important thing you can also think of here is callositis. Okay? Fine? Callositis. Which is a better remedy for callositis other than antim crude? Huh? I mean, if you have read uh, Ruta in uh, Dr. Uh, Kent's lectures, uh, in Kent's lecture, uh, Dr. Uh, you know, Kent uh, mentions about Ruta being a very good remedy for uh, for callositis, for callositis. Okay. So hardening, thickening, warts, cons, fine. And of course, we are also talking of callositis. Anything else that you can think of in antim code? Huh? Under skin. Acting on skin, articaria. Okay, very good remedy for articaria. So if you just see here, you have uh, this is an image showing cons. You also have uh, warts. And if you just remember, the warts in antim crude is predominant predominant over the palm, over the hand, over the palm. Okay. And the better remedy for what's our palm will be Netremure. Netremure. There are plenty. You know, uh, Causticum. Done. You also have Tuja, you also have Lycopodium. You got a lot of remedies. Okay. So if it is palm, it will be Netremure, it will be Antimonium Crudum. If it is on the dorsum of the hand, then the remedy is Dull Camera. Beautiful remedy. What's just disappear? with the camera. Okay? So, now if you are looking at the uh, physical appearance, see this physical appearance, this pair of action will also tell us a little about the miasm. Okay? Now, you, by now you would have understood the predominant miasm in antim code. Keeping its action on the skin and its tendency to eat beyond its capacity. Fine. So these basic traits, they tell that antim crude is predominantly a psychotic child or a psychotic uh, constitution or a psychotic miasa. Okay. So if you just look here, 
the physical appearance of phantom coat mainly indicated in children or it can be indicated in old people what do you see here is children who are obese okay who are obese and obesity in phantom coat is directly related to eating eating and if you read phantom coat from the source books they say children who eat beyond their capacity okay fine if you see an phantom coat child eating with due respect to the child what you need to what you will be surprised is what is the thing that comes to your mind if you see him eating or if you see an antimanum crudum patient eating what is the first thing that comes to your mind what is the first thing that comes to your mind oh it's been so many days that this guy has eaten but what is the tragedy in antimanum crud every meal eats like that fine morning breakfast afternoon lunch and that's why uh, the comparison to pig fine uh that's how they eat so naturally uh, they get to gain weight they are generally obese people hmm? okay and uh, the ailments or what we call it as the causative factors what are all the causative factors mainly you know the ailments in antimanum crude okay uh, i mean we can have uh, physical ailments and we can also have emotional ailments so that you will have some clarity okay so if you are looking at the physical ailments uh, the first very important ailment will be will be uh, okay good overeating good agreed uh, it's a nice thought overeating is a possible ailment then getting wet okay fine so more than getting wet river bathing and in antim crude you have a class every time they take bath in river you can't prescribe antim crude Now what is the condition? What is the condition? In hot weather, in hot summer, if somebody is bathing in river, and if somebody among those lot have any issues, you can think of antim coat. I I I I don't know if you remember. I shared one uh, acute case of a young couple who had gone to Andaman. Okay, both of them were down with uh, fever. Then. wife had severe body pains you know and uh, husband he had a uh, hoarseness of voice see how beautiful uh, the remedies are how nicely it is written in our literature they were in andaman and you know they were under a uh, hot sun and uh, husband also tried uh, what is it scuba diving all those things etc etc and he landed up with very bad uh, hoarseness of voice and wife she was exposed to the sun hot sun and then she lands up with fever uh, couple gone to honeymoon same complaints and the remedies will change what remedies can you think of here Who, whom you would like to prescribe brainia wife she had body pains under hot sun what happened with the husband see the target area the target area is throat the voice box okay he was given antimanum crude hmm? and the wife was given bryonia with beautiful beautiful improvement so ailments from getting overheated okay getting overheated exposure to sun many times we homeopaths limit only to bryonia and at least listening to lectures like this you should also have a wider horizon or a wider horizon wherein you start thinking that you know if they land up with body pains okay then it could be bryonia and if they land up with uh, hoarseness of voice or if they are landing up with gastritis then the remedy will be antimonium crude okay so ailments from uh, river bathing because see river bathing you also have it in rest stops okay now the uh, criteria here is in restaurants it's not necessarily under summer or under sun restaurants can be river bathing but in antimanum crude if you have to prescribe it should be hot sun see many times hot sun is when we would all like to go into the water go into the beaches go into the river pool enjoy 
And for example, if you end up with some problems, you can think of uh, antim crude. Antim crude. Don't forget a beautiful indication. And Vinod already covered this. It was a nice thought. Overeating. Ailments from overeating. Okay. And third very important uh, thing is alcohol. Alcohol. Ailments from alcohol. We'll discuss alcohol a little later because alcohol and antim crude they are related. And we'll try to understand what is the relationship between alcohol and antim crude a little later. It's a beautiful journey. We'll understand. And uh, I just mentioned ailments from exposure to sun. Ailments from exposure to sun. Okay. Better remedies or other remedies? Glonine, natrium carb, all natrium group, okay, and of course, bryonia, belladonna, okay. See now, what is this uh, image from Google trying to explain? Okay, more than summer, go beyond. See, sun I have already mentioned as an element. See, this is getting overheated, okay. I don't know, one author, could be Dr. Kent, I don't remember. He says, you know, when a baby is overwrapped, okay, when the baby is overwrapped in a sunny, uh, you know, weather, and then the child lands up with some problems, you can think of uh, dry, you can think of antimonium code. Ailments from getting overheated is hot sun. Now, if you just see this example here, what is the dress they are wearing? They are wearing all uh, suit, blazer and all. So naturally, it generates more heat. Uh, this is what I mean by getting overheated. Okay? So, lot of other elements. See, one word I would like to mention here in Antim Crude, elements from pastries. Elements from pastries. Bakery items, cakes, bread, biscuits. Okay? So, people who come to our clinic after eating, uh, you know, uh, bread, after eating uh, bakery stuff, pastries, cakes, fine, and then they have some gastric issues. You can think of, think of antim crude. Okay? So, if these are all the physical elements, then there are some emotional elements. Now, one very important emotional element in antim crude, Though it is compared to pig, though it is compared to pig, what is it that is very important for us in Antim Code is ailments from disappointment in love. Okay? Hmm? Though they are thick skinned, we had a different image of Antim Code. Now what you see is emotionally they are very sentimental. I'll talk to you about the mind of Antim Code and I'll give you a beautiful image, picture of Antim Code. But for time being, ailments from disappointment in love, ailments from grief. Okay? Now, what is the cause for grief in Antim Code? Okay. See, it is not like grief what you see in uh, Ignatia. It is not the grief that you see in Netremir. It is not the grief like you see in Ambragracia. So the grief here is a result of uh, disappointment in love. Okay? Hmm? Okay, the grief which comes from disappointment in love. Not necessarily the grief which comes from death. Losing a loved one. It is not uh, anti crude. Mainly grief which comes from, uh, you know, uh, disappointment in love. Hmm? So for our understanding of three, four minutes, what are all the other remedies uh, you can think of for disappointment in love? See, I mean, disappointment in love itself is a big chapter. Fine. But what, as a homeopathic student, you need to understand is, every person who is disappointed in love will not react in the same way. Fine. Based on his or her constitution, the reaction will vary. Hmm? You all agree with this? Okay. Now, can I have some quick examples? Elements from disappointment in love. Very good. Dr. Uh, Ambish is talking of acid phos. Beautiful. Uh, Parmashi is talking of ignitia. A commonly indicated remedy. Hyosinus. Staphysagria. Lacrosis. Each of you can contribute 5-5. Five five. 
If you open your repertory, ailments from disappointment in love, you have some 35 40 remedies. Okay? And uh, the challenge is when each remedy gets indicated. And uh, luckily I worked on this. We'll see when time permits, you know, because it's not there in the syllabus. So we are bound to teach what is there in the syllabus. But ailments from disappointment in love, each remedy, how based on their need, how they react is a beautiful understanding. Okay? So now, for example, few remedies that you spoke, uh, Amrish was talking of acid first. How is it in acid first? What will happen in acid first because of uh, disappointment in love? Okay? Huh? Acid first. Okay, what is it? They will not be interested? Okay, fine, but after uh, disappointment in love, you mean to say they will no more love her, whom they were lo loving the most? Indifference to things that they used to like before, is what you are trying to tell. Okay, but then if, uh, how will disappointment come up here? Hmm? See, in acid first, in acid first, they will generally have uh, debility. Okay, fine. Physical and mental debility as a result of disappointment in love. So when they are extremely tired, fine, because of disappointment in love, okay, or many physical complaints which comes because of disappointment in love. Like for example, in acid falls you can have hair fall, hair loss after disappointment in love. So when you have the body or bodily symptoms which, which are coming up because of disappointment in love, we can think of acid falls. Okay. Now uh, Padmashri was talking of Hyos. What will happen in Hyos? See the variety. I am not telling you all the 35, though it is very interesting. We limit to what is there in our syllabus and what you have contributed. Now Dr. Padmashri was talking of uh, Hyos. Beautiful remedy for uh, disappointment in love. What will happen in Hyos? Okay. In Hyos, they can go into jealousy. For example, you would have seen movies. Movies are the best medium to understand uh, material medica. Okay. Now, where do you fit in Hyos in the movie character? In the movie character, for example, for example, how will the Hyos uh, guy who is disappointed in love, how will he react? What he would do? He would disfigure the face of the lover. Because of this face only, no? Because you think you are beautiful only, you know, you ditched me. Okay, if I am not, if I am not getting you, then nobody should get you. Fine? Right? Uh, they might pour, pour acid. We have in our movies, many characters, you know, same dialogue that I told, though it could not act. You know, I mean, uh, they are more of hyos. They can go into jealousy. They can go into physical harming. Fine? Right? Okay, if I don't get, nobody is getting. Fine. So jealousy, maliciousness, destructiveness after disappointment in love is is hyos. Uh, okay. Then uh, I mean uh, Vinod was talking of uh, lacases. Lacases again can go into jealousy. Hmm? Lacases again. You know Ophelia. It can go into jealousy. Tarantula can go into madness. Okay. There is a rubric. Mania, insanity. Insanity from disappointment in love. In many movies you would have seen uh, the hero uh, or you know some character he is put in the mental asylum. He is being tied and is telling some name of the girl and is uh, no I can't live without her blah 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 and is gone uh, insane. Okay. Must be a dose of tarantula. Hmm? We'll bring him back to normalcy. So insanity, which is as a result of disappointment in love, is tarantula. You have calcarea first. Okay? Fine. You have stephysagria. Now, what will happen in stephysagria? See, for stephysagria, it is more of an insult. She ditched me. See, see the variety. Hyos will go into destruction. Hyos will go into, I mean, lacassis will go into jealousy. And stephysagria is going into a different mode. 
and he feels uh, insulted. Fine, Aram. I don't know why you did not think of Aram. Fine, Aram. Beautiful remedy. And uh, Shubha was talking of suicide. One top remedy you should think of, you know, when somebody decides, especially if it is as a result of uh, disappointment in love, no, I, I, I am not worth living. You know, this is the end of the life. My girlfriend dissed me and I will kill myself. He's not seeing anything positive. He is into bad depression. He wants to cut himself, he wants to hang himself. Parents are not leaving him on the terrace out of the fear that he will jump. So much is the depression. One remedy that can bring him back okay, with a bang is Aram. And don't give 30, 200. In clinics we have seen 50M, CM, high, high remedies. In one of my YouTube uh, lectures on Aram, I have shared one case of Aram where this girl, you know, uh, she was talking of uh, death very casually after disappointment in love. There is one rubric uh, uh, talks about death uh, or, you know, cheerful talking about death, something like that. Single remedy is Aram. And she was given Aram and uh, she beautifully improved with Aram. She beautifully improved with Aram. So, a lot of remedies. Now, what will Antim could do when he gets disappointed? Hmm? Okay? That's what we'll be trying to understand in the mind of Antim code. Okay? So, the mental symptoms will be built on these very important uh, ailments. Hmm? Any quick inputs or any quick uh, additions you would like to add? So, to keep it short, we spoke of uh, the introductory part. Okay? I gave you the sphere of action. I gave you the ailments from. And uh, before we end today's class, we'll just look at uh, the PQRS. What is peculiar? What is unusual? What is characteristic in antimonium codon? Okay. Before I start from my end, can I have uh, some PQRS of uh, antimonium code? Good, agreed. I mean, commonly, when you have uh, a white coated tongue, hmm? okay, I mean, uh, again, great authors, Nash, Kent, what they tell is, how is it? As if whitewashed. Tongue, I mean, if you look at tongue, there are many remedies. Anterior part, clear, posterior part, posterior part, coated, anterior part, you have got different varieties. In antim crore, the entire tongue will be coated white. Good. Tongue coated white. Beautiful. One. <clears throat> Anything else? Huh? Okay. Uh, designs of antim crore? They love pickles. Good. Craving pickles. Okay. Pickles, pickles. They love pickles. Good. Any, anything else? Huh? Okay. Erectations. Erectation. Tasting of ingesta. There is a symptom. Erectation. Tasting of ingesta. Now what is this? Why is it tasting like that of ingesta? Again, go back to the sphere of action. Okay. Acting on the GI, it is causing slow and weak digestion. So, what Dr. Krishna Das is trying to tell us is very apt. Erectation smelling like that of ingesta. Whatever he has eaten, the erectation is smelling the same. Erectation again, you have got different remedies having a different character. Erectation smelling of ingesta is antimonium crudum. Good. Any, any, any other uh, PQRS? Huh? Very good. Mucus piles. Good. We will come to it. Hemorrhoids. You know, wherein you will be having more of uh, mucus secretion. Mucus piles means you will not have piles of which is uh, made up of mucus. Not that. But you know, the mu uh, hemorrhoids will have a lot of uh, mucus secretion. Mucus piles. Good. Very good. Child does not want to be looked at, touched, though it comes under mind. Yes, it's a characteristic symptom. When she said that, what is the very important symptom? Yes, Krishna does. Aversion to bathing. Child does not like bathing. Okay? They, I mean, 
Uh, many kids, uh, I don't know if you have uh, had uh, an opportunity or if you are blessed to see these kind of kids, you know, uh, when they have been taken into the bathroom, they start yelling, crying. And we will be asking, why, what happened? No, 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 I am taking him to bathroom to give him a bath. Okay, antimicrobial, sulfur, then capsicum, ammonium carb, lot of remedies, hours in bathing. But there is one child who is very happy, he is always running to the bathroom and mother has to keep pulling him out, which is that remedy. You are getting the scene here, mother is pulling the child into the bathroom, okay. And in the other situation, mother is pulling the child outside the bathroom. No, 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 come enough. How many times you want to take bath in a day? Come, come, come. Get out. No, no, no. See, I know, whenever I say bathing, uh, you will all talk of arsenic. Good, you did not talk of cyclino. OCD, sir, cyclino. They, they feel dirty. Delusion, child is dirty and so is going on. I am talking of small, small kids. Don't bring in all uh, psychiatric illness into the Okay. So I one child who likes bathing, who likes playing, I am not used about bathing, it might be a little confusing. One child who likes uh, washing or playing in water. Okay, I mean they simply keep pouring water, always doing that is tarantula. 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 Okay. So we look at uh, the PPT, uh, yeah, what you have already told is what I will be trying to show you in pictures, in images, tongue coated white, absolutely right. And please do remember the image, see the thickness, see the way how it is coated, okay, and uh, desire speakers. Hmm? Yeah, uh, this guy is enjoying bathing, but it is opposite in uh, antim crude, aversion bathing, See, so throat, we saw that situation after getting exposed to hot weather. Okay. See, many times people end up with sore throat when they get exposed to cold weather. Then, so this is something unusual. That's why we have put it under characteristic symptoms. Okay. So throat complaints which comes up from getting exposed to uh, sun, getting overheated and uh, yeah, there are a few mental symptoms, uh, you know, which are getting uh, mixed here. What is this that you need to understand in Anthem Crude? And uh, hopefully in next class we'll try to talk more in detail. That Anthem Crude, they're very, very sentimental. I'll tell you what sentimental is <coughs> in the uh, next class. But for time being, very romantic, very sentimental. And uh, sentimental in moonlight. Okay, and again, uh, being Indians, being uh, movie lovers, you know, romance is always linked to moon. We never say sun. We use uh, the thing, you know, the moon as a symbol of uh, love, romance. Many of the songs are pictures uh, in the background, keeping moon. But, okay, so what you have to understand is, they get very emotional, they get very sentimental when they are in uh, moonlight, okay? Very romantic people and uh, we saw the affinity for uh, skin. It is causing thickening, calm, warts. <coughs> One more word I used here was callositis. In brackets you can have rota, okay? Yeah, and uh, this, what is this gentleman doing? He is talking. So, talks and rhymes, versus mix, okay, we'll discuss in our mind, I don't want to cover the mental symptoms today, yeah. I mean, we'll not look at the mind because we'll spend some quality time in understanding the mind. So, characteristic symptom, we spoke of tongue, we spoke of the mucus piles, and we also spoke of the desires, fine, right? and the erectations which are very loud and uh, like uh, smelling like that of ingesta, okay? And uh, the extra growth, aversion to bathing, and uh, we all, you said something. Uh, I mean, doesn't like to be touched, doesn't like to be looked at. Hoarseness of voice, which comes from getting uh, 
exposed to sun or getting overheated. We'll keep it simple. Okay. So these were the characteristic symptoms of uh, antimicrobial. Hmm? Next class, we we'll look at mind, and uh, we'll also try to compare similar remedies. Okay. Uh, you know the sentimental, the romantic, other remedies. Okay. Uh, so that you get a clear picture of antimicrobial. See, antimicrobial is a very less understood remedy. And many times, as I just described, we started with cons. Many times the utility is limited only to corn. Now why? What is the reason? Is our lack of understanding. So if we understand the remedy better, we can start using the remedy in uh, uh, different conditions. Okay? And uh, uh, with a case, I will try to explain the mind in the next class. Okay? Any questions? All fine? Thank you. Thanks.